हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट ऊप्स पार्ट थ्री टिल नाउ आई हैव कवर्ड फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर डॉट नेट ऊप्स एंड दीज आर द डिफरेंट ऊप्स क्वेश्चन विच आई कवर्ड सो लाइक व्हाट इज डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क डिफरेंट वर्जन ऑफ डॉट नेट वट इज लेटेस्ट डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड विजुअल स्टूडियो अवेलेबल वट इज ऊप्स इम्पॉर्टेंट ऊप्स कॉन्सेप्ट वट इज क्लास एंड हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर द क्लास वट इज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर द ऑब्जेक्ट देन इन पार्ट टू आई आई कवर्ड वट इज द नेमिंग कन्वेंशन फॉर क्लास इन डॉट नेट कैन वी क्रिएट क्लास नेम विथ नंबर्स कैन वी यूज स्पेशल कैरेक्टर टू क्रिएट द क्लास and uh, uh, by default class follows which access modifier and another question was types of access modifier or specifier in this video i'll cover few important interview questions and uh, i'll be showing the practical also can we declare class as private protected or protected internal okay so we have to check if we can declare the class as private protected or protected internal so let's open one uh, visual studio and here let's add one class here and let's give the name of the class is employee details okay and last time also we checked by default class is internal so let's zoom out okay now let's declare class as private can we declare the class and let's build the application how we can build the application so either we can use uh, from here build solution or we have shortcut control shift b so as you can see we cannot declare the class as private let's try with protected protected okay and use the shortcut control shift b again we are getting the error and last one is protected internal let's build the application okay so as you can see neither we can create the classes private protected or protected internal so in last video we checked by default classes internal so either we can use the internal keyword or internal specifier or public specifier here okay so this is the first answer here and the answer should be no we cannot use the we cannot use the private protected or protected internal in class okay i'm talking about this main class here and another by default class members are means access modifier so suppose i have one variable here int a okay and what will be the access modifier for this variable a okay let's find out uh, what we'll do we'll go to program.cs here we'll create the object of that class there's a class name here employee details emp is equal to new employee details and how we can access the member like emp dot if you see here that variable name is not available here because by default member variable or methods are private okay so it's private always remember by default class members are private it means uh, private members can only be accessed within a class we cannot access those variable outside this class let's move to third question difference between public private and internal access modifier okay so answer is by default members of class are private means they can only be accessed within class only and uh, we have to understand public so public accessible in any project okay so earlier i gave you an example suppose i have this class employee and uh, okay let's do one thing uh, this suppose this class is public and if i want to access this class outside the project so can we do that let's create the object of this class what is the class name employee details So EMP is equal to new employee details. Build the application. Control Shift B. Uh, we are getting something else. Okay. Because of this, we were getting error again. Let's build the application. Okay. So public is available in any of the project. 
so in our solution we might have diff, uh, more than one project are available in this uh, solution as you can see only two projects are available so public will be uh, can be accessible in any of the project but you have to add the reference okay and uh, next one is private okay so we have to understand what is private so private member can only be accessed within a class within a class so suppose i declare int count this variable will be accessible within a class only so if i declare one method print as you can see count so we can use the count here also so public means it will be accessible anywhere in the solution or any project and the private will be available only within a class and the last one which we have to understand internal internal so as we saw last time in last video by default class is internal and that class will be available or that member will be available in same project and sometimes we also refer that as a same library or same assembly only that will not be available outside the project so let's do one thing let's create one variable here using internal okay in to no internal okay internal suppose the string name let's check it out if this will be available in same project itself or not so uh, this admin is defined in this a project and let's go to program.cs and uh, we have already object of that ad okay so if we say add dot so as you can see name is available because it's in same assembly or same project or same dll okay now let's go to this one and also we have here one variable let's create one method public void test let's use this add here so as you can see this internal one is not available which one this internal it means internal can only be accessible within a project or we can say same project same library or same assembly these are the alternatively uh, terminology used for internal okay in upcoming videos uh, we will see the difference between projected and protected protected internal these are very too important uh, access modifier which are frequently asked in interviews okay i hope you have liked my video so if you have any questions suggestion you can mail me to you can uh, give your comment thanks for watching please subscribe my video thanks bye